Hi, I'm Jason Gorber from ThatShelf.com, and we're here today to talk about Jethro Tull's groundbreaking blockbuster record, Aqualung. Big change. So for those of you that don't know this record for some reason, Aqualung is sort of one of the definitive albums of the 1970s. Jethro Tull, um, famous for their sort of long extended takes. Often they would do records that were um, about a single idea, essentially a very big thing within progressive rock uh, mantles, uh, the concept album as it were. Aqualung fits into that realm, not quite as sort of straight ahead as some of their other records. I mean, many Jethro Tull records were actually just one song on one side of a vinyl, one song on the other. But nonetheless, this is the one that actually has, for lack of a better word, some of their hits, the title track, and there's a number of other tracks for it. There have been a number of uh, major releases of this record to date. Obviously, people can seek out first pressings, but a lot of the first pressings haven't actually sounded that great. This is, was sort of a strange recording at the best of times. So a lot of cleanup has been done by some extraordinary uh, uh, remastering artists. Um, uh, for the 40th anniversary, they actually came out with this, which is um, a, a lovely sort of box set, uh, all remixed and put together. It actually includes a nice hardcover book that sort of details all the elements of the record a history of what's going on, photos of the band, that sort of stuff. A really nice, excellent um, presentation. And inside you have these elements, these uh, digital versions of the file. And of course, an LP. This is a Stephen Wilson remix version. Um, Stephen Wilson's uh, in the band Porcupine Tree, and he's, he's a, a, an incredible guy. Um, he's actually gone sort of through some of his favorite records of all time and has managed to remix and remaster a number of them. He's done a bunch of stuff for Yes, King Crimson, XCC, stuff like that, and obviously the Jethro Tull. So this actually came in the box with his mix of the vinyl. There's another version of Aqualung. Yet another remix. Um, so here we have stuff like quad mix, stuff like that, many of the same details, but again, in these sort of slender box versions. So yes, two digital um, remixes and reduxes of Aqualung. One includes the vinyl, one has different surround mixes and different tracks that have been mixed in the surround than this. So of course you need both. But what are we here for today? Well, we went the, the opposite route, the complete analog route. And obviously for um, vintage albums like this, sometimes there's a lot of fun to do. So this is going to be an unboxing of the box. From Acoustic Sounds um, in uh, Salina, Kansas. Um, basically, these are one of the main, not only record... Um, uh, pressing plants, but also acoustic sounds has taken over a lot where things like classic records, um, obviously stuff that MoFi touches upon. We've talked about some of these uh, audiophile things before. But classic records was for years releasing, um, when a lot of people weren't buying vinyl, 200 gram limited edition, master straight from the analog, often 45 RPM, uh, definitive versions. I have uh, many classic records. Um, again, they're classic records, but they're the label with classic records. Um, many of them sound spectacular, but some of them had some issues, especially back then because pressing plants were sort of hit and miss off the time, even though they were in charge of their own QC. But what we have now with Acoustic Sounds is some extraordinary stuff. Some of the uh, titles that they've released have been incredible, and especially in, in the series that we're about to open up here. Um, I have, for example, the Harry Belafonte uh, mix. Now, I, it's impossible for live at Carnegie to sound bad. Uh, you get a dollar bin version, it sounds amazing, but that 45 RPM version is just astounding. Anyway, the classic records version of Aqualung is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, so this is less than that, but this allows us to have basically the same pressing plates as far as I uh, understand as what they did there, but in the new release and the new brand acoustic sounds. So I just got my uh, one. I got one for uh, myself and for a friend. This is the shipping box that it contains. I have yet to see what's inside. So let's see, let's crack it open and see what we got inside. I will do my best not to cut myself. Right. As the box opens up, not surprisingly, we have some bubble wrap, an advertising for their disc doctor, 
um, uh, clean, cleaning nonsense. Uh, it's okay. I mean, we already know that I have a grater in Okinoki. That's what I primarily use. And inside here are two. The round. It's like a hardcover book. UHQR. Now, for anybody who uh, remembers the um, the crazy versions of MoFi, UHQR is uh, similar to this, ultra high uh, quality. Again, MoFi is doing their one step, very similar to that. For, from QRP, from Quality Records Pressing, this is that um, uh, record pressing plant in Salinas. The, these the, the sleeves are amazing. All the all the elements that are all actually come through here. Limited edition, right from the original master tapes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And here we go. There's one. And inside the box, here's the second. Inside, thank you for supporting vinyl, which is a nice sentiment. Thank you for supporting vinyl. Let's crack this open. Beautiful, I don't see any numbers on the outside. So it's a limited edition, but I don't see it being numbered. Sort of a hard box, this on the side. Let's open it up. Now I neurotically like keeping the outside stickers. I don't, I'm not gonna stick it on the box on this, but I actually really enjoy, for no good reason, maybe it comes from my Star Wars collection, uh, figures where I like stuff in package, but all this stuff that actually talks about that it's straight from the original master tapes, using the best tapes that they can get, using their QRP uh, quality pressure, unmatched QC, deluxe packaging, blah, blah, blah. All those elements are there in place. As we take the box and it slides out exactly like a book. So inside the box, you have this. And inside all this, we have an acoustic sounds catalog, just to let you know about all the other elements that you're probably gonna wanna pick up. A UHQR certificate of authenticity, so it shows that it's a 5,000 limited edition custom pressing. Again, I don't see it uh, being a specific number, but it shows that it's on Clarity Vinyl, which is their fancy version of vinyl. Again, this is supposed to be very, very good. We will see. Many of the people are, are um, going on about it. And, you know, uh, if you get like a fancy Mercedes, like a really fancy Mercedes, they actually have the uh, engineers actually signed the uh, engine block. Well, here are the people that actually plated and uh, did all the uh, record pressing. So you actually have, on a first name basis, the people do it. Again, very limited edition to do this. Shows the technical specifications document, specific reviews from a whole bunch of people. Shows the different shapes so that it actually can be pressed so it's a much more flat shape, so that it's much more even in terms of what's going. And all this nonsense, hypothetically, to give us the best sounding version of this record that we can on the analog medium. Now, I own the digital stuff. I play this on a reasonable digital system, on a less than reasonable digital system. I can get the 24, I guess they're 192 files from HD tracks. You can get this and it's all pretty straightforward and simple. But of course with analog it's always more of a schlep. And so you're trying to get the medium the closest to what it was and what it could be from the tape to this sounding the way that the record was always meant to be sound, sounded. And hypothetically this version is the best version I'm gonna get on that frame. Hakulang, we have here a lyrics sheet. And finally inside, um, it's actually beautifully textured. The colors, I mean, it's not going to show up well on YouTube, but you get the idea. Absolutely beautiful, pristine, gorgeous um, tip on jacket, thick cardboard. It's cracking when I open it up. The painting on the inside, absolutely lovely. If I take one of the records out, as I said, the sleeves are similar to I think they even probably manufacture them for MoFi, but it's this sort of plastic sleeve on the outside with uh, rice paper on the inside, anti-static. I love these sleeves. I was very happy when I get records um, that are pressed on QRP. Some of the Vinyl Me Please stuff comes like that all the time. But here we are 
on what they say is Clarity Vinyl, which, as you can see, is sort of a milky white. So not quite clear, not clear vinyl, but supposedly this formulation gets rid of whatever stuff that people say is in the black stuff. I have no idea. A lot of it probably is marketing, but I don't care because whatever they use, whatever techniques they use, if they can actually reduce the amount of surface noise, if they can ensure that the pressing is done uh, in an immaculate way, if they can ensure that quality control is there from start to finish, I know that I will get a version of this record, which I love very much, that's as good as I'm gonna get on vinyl. I then have the Steve Wilson, the sort of modern remix that I can listen to on vinyl. I have it, I can listen to in quad, um, the original vintage quad mix. I can listen to a new 5.1 mix. I can listen to a second 5.1 mix. And I can listen on my new QRP pressed Clarity Vinyl UHQR from our friends at Analog Productions. So it's a beautiful set. Um, I can't wait to actually dig in and listen to it, but that's our unboxing there of Jethro Tull's Aqualung latest uh, vinyl acquisition. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, we're going to be uh, doing a bunch more of these. Leave some comments if there's other things that you want us to look at. Um, please subscribe. Please follow us on social media. Uh, please uh, click the like button and uh, ring so that we actually get uh, uh, notifications when our next video is coming in. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next video. Take care.